Hi guys, hope all of you are great. This week we are bringing an interesting video for all of you by a budding artist named 99 Issues. The topic for this week is fucked up poetry. Though the name seems to be obscure and indecent but it is not. Though from ancient times to modern times, poetry has seen a lot of transition. Moreover, nowadays poetry has taken the structure of day-to-day -day conversations, where poets don't follow the earlier norms and instead modern-day poets love to experiment with their art and one of the results of such an experiment is fucked up poetry. Let's quickly understand what fucked up poetry is and what are the rules that this form of poetry has in it. What is fucked up poetry? It is a style of poetry that uses the power of fuck words to reveal emotions, express feelings, deliver a message, and create a masterpiece. Inspired by rap music, more about realism and transparency. It contains multiple personal liberties like the freedom of using words, freedom of expressing and creating. In short, fucked up poetry is naked poetry. Here, true feelings are unclothed and where a poet has not to pretend anything. Here are examples of the fuck words that one can use in fucked up poetry. Nigga. Fuck. Fucked. Fucking. Fucking. Bitch. Ho. Motherfucker. Pussy. Shit. Bullshit. Ass. Asshole. Dick. Let's understand it with an example. No limits. Somebody said to me kid the sky is the limit go out there reach for the stars reach for your dreams. A lot's been going on. I think I needed his words. At least to help back on my feet I've been feeling out of this world lately dealing with fake lovers and fake friends when my chick left me it had me down I couldn't even eat that roasted chicken it's not nice to miss your favorite meal especially when you know the chance. It doesn't come around so often but I always lost my fucking appetite I used to neglect my dear dreams I wanted to give up on everything to pause reciting all of these poems cause they wanna close my doors even if I polish my mighty verse for days my nigga I just felt like I ain't doing enough and maybe this shit does not even worth it some showed me different colors some gave me cold shoulders dark days friends became few my mom told me about it I said fuck it I took the keys then I hit the road I even forgot the goodbye kisses from loved ones guess this time I'm fucking riding solo chasing after thousands of stars and shit don't even need nobody watching my back just like he said. The sky is the limit. So you got to keep on grinding Clement. I kept on telling myself again and again just to ignite the fire that's in me and I felt the energy flowing inside. But I still felt like something was missing I couldn't identify what fuck is it. I only felt the presence of it missing. He told me to reach for the stars but the problem is I always wanted more I wanted to do more with this poetry like reaching out to the broken souls. Tell them it's all okay. And the revived hearts of depressed teens let them know I know how it feels I don't want anything to stand in my way when I'm busy preaching this gospel not even the fucking sky to limit me cause eagles still fly higher than the sky. I've always been an eagle from the south, always felt so fucking unlimited and unrestricted always wanted to reach for what's beyond. The limitation is only a matter of satisfaction I wanted to do this until I feel like a man. I don't wanna do any of this shit anymore. All I ever wanted is, artist satisfaction. A voice came to me and said, no limits, no blocka blockas we destroy your shitty blocks we just keep on doing more and more till we're beyond the sky and the stars. Do it until you don't want it anymore kid. Only you can limit yourself only when your soul is all satisfied. I realized that's what has been missing cause that's what I've always felt like so unlimited and in deed of satisfaction. 99 issues. Fucked up poetry. So have you seen it? In this form of poetry, you don't have to pretend anything. This poetry is inspired by our day today's conversation. This form of poetry challenges the norms of grammar and also the rule book of our ancient literature. Let's have another example. Lose me don't lose me please don't throw me away baby I. Don't wanna die young but I am not afraid to die I'm not afraid to suffocate or drown in the oceans of Billy if I will be drowning for you I am only afraid of losing you yay. My only fear I. S to miss you and never see you again. Who will touch you or kiss you? and make love to you when I'm gone? I guarantee you nobody can do it the best just like me. 
You know I won't lie playboy style ain't my style I just gave you my heart I'm on you like I can't be without you and baby I be too fucking jealous insecurities mate. I warn these fellas I see how niggas look at you in motivation and to be honest I don't act it cuz I'm your lover and your best friend I don't think you own somebody else for you and be anything you wish for just tell. Me anything you need ask me anything you wanna know. I'm not afraid to die defending my love for you so I just keep on counting heads I'm too ready for battles and wars baby. I could fucking die for you and if I could die don't carry on because I'll come back for you my only fear of death is losing you I'm scared I will be gone forever and never see your face again but see you replacing me with your new lover. So don't lose me please don't leave me alone I don't wanna die young. So, that's it for this week. Hope you have a little bit of an idea of how this form of poetry works. Catch you next week with another interesting video. Till then take care and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates on the videos and press the bell icon. Happy writing ahead!